So I, all I started com composing was a concession speech. And the, the way I was going to start that off was by saying, you know, I heard politicians describe recently, saying a politician is someone who believes that the worst thing that could happen to this country is that someone else gets elected to the office that he wants. And my response to that was going to be, that's not the worst thing that I lost. The worst thing will be if the Free State Project doesn't succeed, if Real ID goes forward across the whole country, um, if things keep going the way they're going, that's much worse than who won or who lost. But I'm happy to say I won! <laughs> whole new ball game. <laughs> this is proof that people can move here with the Free State Project and get elected to state <laughs> office. <laughs> yeah. you know? And none of this would have been possible without everybody who's here tonight. Especially Matt Simon did a hell of a job as my campaign manager. <laughs> and my wife, who supported me most of the time. <laughs> And gave birth to my son, which has got to be worth a few votes. Hey, hey, hey! But everybody else, and I won't list everybody by name because we'll use up all the tape in the camcorder. But thank you guys all so much for the donations, for the time, the effort, going door to door, standing at the polls. Well, it was a pretty nice day to stand outside. But thank you guys all so much because. If I'd moved up here by myself two and a half years ago, I wouldn't have been able to get elected. But because the Free State Project chose New Hampshire, and because so many great people moved up here, we, we, made, we did this together. So, um, and we're going to do it again and again and again, again and again and again and again! And again. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so it, it sounds like if, if I'm the only early mover that's elected tonight, I will not be the last. Mm -hmm. There's going to be many more. And uh, after seven years, you're going to see free staters running for state senate and from mm -hmm. governor. And mm -hmm. I look forward to the day when your choice for governor is a Republican free stater or a Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> because neither party has a monopoly on good ideas. And we're going to work together with both parties. And we're going to move them closer to the ideal. And we're going to accomplish great things. And because of the people like, like you in this room. Because when I signed a pledge to move up here, I promised to... Somebody help me out. I promised to exert the maximum possible effort to work for a government that was limited to protecting our life, liberty, and property. Something like that? That sound about right? <laughs> Close enough. All right. Good idea. And the people in this room are the ones who are actually going out and exerting that effort. And... I'd like to applaud all of you. Thank you, guys. So, in closing, <laughs> I'd like to say, again, thank you all for all your support. I won't let you down. And now you guys know that there'll be a voice for common sense and for liberty, for freedom, that will get up there and speak on the floor of the House. And... If any of the other representatives uh, don't hear that, then it'll be our job to replace them with ones that do. So, thank you guys all. Thank you.